Okay, I'm in Dead Horse Cave right now. I'm uh, near the lower end, I suppose. I think I'm in the main stream passage, but near the lower end, so I don't actually see any water. I hear it near me. Let me get my gimbal going. All right, there we go. Now, let's see if I can start uh, heading out this way. Okay, I just started my third GoPro battery out of four GoPro batteries. So even if I headed back right now, I'll be easily able to get back to the entrance, the lower entrance, before the battery runs out. But I don't necessarily need to record video all the way back to the entrance. So obviously I'm going to be going in and out multiple times and the entrance isn't going to change that much. Mm. Well, anyway. Okay. So I'm in a passage here. It's not tall enough for me to stand up and walk. It's only like four feet tall. So I'm not exactly uh, on my hands and knees either. I'm sort of crouching down, lunging forward. Sure, I got the flashlight on the brightest mode here. There we go. Make sure you can enjoy it as much as I can. Of course, I have two eyes so I can see in 3D. Whoa, unfortunately, I don't have a good 3D camera rig right now. GoPro used to make one, but anyway, long story short, I haven't lately. So this, these two passages on the left and the right, they come together. And I came through on the left. I was planning on going back out the way I came, but you know what? I don't know how long it'll be until I get back here. So I'll go ahead and go through this easier tube just because I haven't yet today. The next time I'll just go the other direction, I guess, if I can remember. Look how rough the floor is here. Very rough cave. Except it's been, I think, worn smooth by erosion. It doesn't have a lot of sharp rocks. I don't think that's all from humans crawling through it. I think that's from water flow, etc. Not really sure. Oops. Ah, my poor flashlight. My icky breaky flashlight. Wow. Look how rough this is, though. There are definitely some rough spots in this cave. It's a very interesting cave. It's got a huge amount of variety. Hard spots, easy spots, wet spots, dry spots. Interesting. I bet that's fragile, so I'm gonna make sure I don't touch it, so I don't break it. Darn it, my flashlight is being stupid. Okay. Uh, anyway, I'm uh, at a part where the cave's suddenly getting bigger. Okay, so that tube over there on the left is the way I originally came down. And then I went through there, crawled through, and then uh, coming back up, I went through here. So, by the process of elimination, oh, gee, look at the ceiling one way left to go wow this is an interesting cave oops darn it almost stubbed my toe i'm not wearing boots i'm just wearing shoes because they're more comfortable i'd be careful not to hit my precious toe on a rock okay so the stream passage is there that's the way i came down 
I have no idea if this is a dead end or not. I don't feel like checking the map. I'd rather just go explore it. Interesting how there's a, a ledge flow line here on the outside of the curve, but not the inside. Interesting. Oops, I got my, the floor is a little bit damp here. I'm trying to keep myself from getting too wet. Huh, I'm just listening, see if I can hear water ahead or not. Notice it's, I'm going uphill and then it's gonna curve to the right in a couple dozen feet. This is why it's a, a 3D maze in here because this little tube could be over the little tube I'm looking for. So then I totally lose track of that other tube. The only way to find it would be go back the way I came, which is exactly what I'm prepared to do, of course. Yeah, if I come through here with other people, I'm gonna try not to act as tour guide. I'm gonna let them play tour guide, lead me to the parts of the cave they like. Maybe they'll show me a cool strategy I never thought of, or a part of the cave I never noticed. Sometimes when there's a gap in the rocks, a hole in the rocks, it's hard to see except from maybe a certain angle. First time I went looking for Masochist Maze, I went right past it because I didn't know how low on the wall it was. But I had a good map, so I was able to figure out, wait, it should be here. Oh yeah, it is here, duh. Oh wow, looks like it's almost blocked dead, which means it'll be a dead end. It's weird, there's like loose gravel. Like, I don't know. I don't want to say something digging, but more like, I don't know, being deposited. I don't know. Wow, I don't remember if I've been through here or not. Obviously it's easy to find, but whether it's a good idea to squeeze through here. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, you know what? Let's try this again. This is gonna be a little bit of work, but you know what? I need the exercise. These loose rocks on the floor, they actually act sort of a, um, what's it called? Like a lubricant, you know? As I slide across it, it'll roll along. They're not sharp, it's not gonna stab me. They're really hard caves. Whoops. Oh, what the heck? I pushed a weird button. I hate this stupid gimbal. Oh, wow. Interesting. All right, well, coming through, coming through. Oh. 